Vlogmas day 15. How do people do this? You guys. Are you nervous, baby? Are you nervous? <laughs> Happy Vlogmas Day at 15. We are 10 days away from Christmas. Oh my goodness. Ooh, time is really flying by so, so quickly. I didn't close last night because I fell asleep. <laughs> so today I will try to make it a little bit more interesting for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Um, yesterday's 25 days of wellness goal was to donate to a charity. So I will be doing that today. And then today's is to do a little bit more cleaning before the end of the year. So if you guys already have clean homes, maybe make this your last day before 2020 so that you can give yourself the rest of this month to just chill and relax. So I'm going to do a little bit of tidying at home. I feel like I've been saying that all vlogmas long, but I plan on doing more tidying in my house because we keep getting packages for presents and all these boxes just keep like loading up and it's getting really annoying. Well, I'm gonna try to get my workout done early today. That way I can really just focus on getting everything that I need to get done. I'm going home on Thursday. So I have quite a bit of things, quite a bit of things, quite a few errands and things to get done before I head back to California. <music> body workout I am going to go for a little bit of a run to warm up and then got a chest press dips chin a uh, seated chin ups lay on my rotations low wood choppers low high to low wood choppers half Turkish get up overhead press lateral raises and then finish off with some hit stuff um, so today is going to be quite intense but I intend to get a really really good one out because I just feel like having a good workout really sets the tone for your day, whether it's movement that's like more gentle like yoga or even just like a hardcore hit workout. I feel like being able to move your body is such a luxury and being able to get out and move around. So getting your body feeling right first thing in the morning always helps me, especially when I feel like I need to clear out my head. So I guess this Vlogmas is going to be a lot of firsts for me. I'm gonna do a get ready with me because I want to keep this somewhat entertaining and I got a little pup in the back that wants to join. Oh yeah, what do you wanna tell them? You wanna tell them you wanna put makeup on too? You wanna show them your bow? Oh, it's a pretty bow. So I thought it could be fun. It's very simple. I'm taking, I'm filming a little bit I'm filming a little bit of content today and taking some pictures. No Kaloa. Oh. Um, so I wanted to get my face done up slightly more than normal. And uh, this is me without anything, not, not even any moisturizer or anything on right now. I just took a shower, worked out, took Kaloa to the park and she got a little playtime in with a buddy and had some lunch. And now we are just showered all clean and about to do this about to do this. <laughs> uh, my lips are incredibly dry. I'm gonna probably try a lip mask at some point because I have no idea what is happening to my lips right now, but they are just like dying. Anyways, okay, first step is always to hydrate. So I have the Uruoi. I hope this focuses this time. It's because it's not a real camera, it's a phone. Uruoi Moisture Milk. Plop it on my hand. I usually do about like one to two pumps and then you kind of just uh, swirl it around on your face. Sometimes one pump will do, sometimes two pumps. What's up, Bubby? You want to explain for me? You can do a little tippy tap tip. Nice and gentle on the face. My mom, if you're watching, you're probably like, oh, you're going too rough on your skin. I am trying. Second in my moisture routine is the UA. It's another Uruoi product. 
And this one is a deeper moisture gel. Um, it's a little thicker in consistency, but I like Roy's products because all of them are relatively light and they do really feel like they're um, pretty hydrating. In terms of like um, dry, oops, I got it all in my hair. This is what I get for trying to do it on camera. Um, in terms of like um, hydration, I feel like other than my lips, um, this is pretty good. I really like the moisture. I haven't had any dry patches in my skin so far other than my hands and my lips, which is just, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. We're in a new climate. New so now that we got our little moisture base going, we got Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream which I mentioned also in my empties video. This is a cream that I pretty much use every day. Sometimes I'll add in some, a little bit of extra SPF if I'm going out for a run, but this is like a nice, thick, standard moisturizer consistency. Um, I don't need a lot. A little goes a long way with this stuff. Um, and especially if I have like other layers of moisture on my skin, this is generally like the last kind of protection barrier that I use in the daytime. <laughs> trying to moisturize my lips I don't know what's going on I feel like maybe it's like salty food I don't know something's going on in my lip I probably should stop picking at it mm. that would probably help okie day so that is my base for moisturizer um if I'm not adding SPF it's typically not too heavy um because I'm pretty much just staying at home I don't do a lot of face makeup anyways all right, this is my makeup bag. I got this at Target in the kids section. I think it's like a kid's pencil case, but I really love it. It's so adorable. So the first thing I put on, usually the Glossier, Glossier uh, eyeshadows, the Skywash eyeshadows. Um, today I'm gonna use both. The color Terra is usually my base. I really don't do a lot, just a little dibby dab. So just a dab on each lid. And then I go with a brush, take a brush, and just kind of spread it around. Nothing too intense. I really like um, the really warm tones. Usually I use a lot of browns, a lot of neutrals, and I really enjoyed that like burnt umber look. But typically, that's pretty much it. It's extremely light. And sometimes I'll do a little bit more, but I'm not really going for anything crazy today. Then I use the darker color. This one is Echo. And I don't even go to the lid with this. I usually just like dab. Let's see. I usually just dab the brush a little. And then just put it right above my lash line and right below. So I just kind of like the general darkness that it brings. It's really not super pigmented, but I really like that you can build up with these. Um, I'm kind of at the end of this specific eyeshadow. And if you can probably tell, I need to um, pluck my eyebrows just a little. I also need to get them re-microbladed. If you can't tell, you probably can. Um, that they're just starting to turn a little red and my skin just pushes out the pigment pretty quickly. I've already got it done twice. Um, this is, I've been out probably for like a year, a year and a half since I last did it. So it's lasted pretty long, pretty long. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Nothing's happening. It's weird to get ready in front of a camera. I feel like I have to keep talking. What do you guys want to talk about? How was your day? Yeah, me too. <laughs> My day's been pretty good. It started off, it's been really up and down. I feel like with the holidays, it can get really stressful sometimes. I feel like there's always something at the end of the year that has to be done. And I'm I'm a huge person on like thinking about goals for, of like celebrating goals for this year and then also thinking about goals for next year. And then on top of that, you have the holidays. And I'm not someone to like get all my presents before 
thanks or during Thanksgiving or Black Friday, I typically kind of like, it's like a rolling process that starts at, after Thanksgiving. Um, so I haven't planned anything typically until like December or so. So just trying to make sure I have all of my gifts uh, has been a little bit stressful. And this year I got to take half of them home because I don't live in California anymore. But I'm gonna try to see some friends when I'm back. One of my best friends, Anna, if she was watching, hi Anna. Um, she is going to be home. I get to meet her boyfriend and I'm really excited. Um, oh, uh, I guess we'll talk after. So, curling lash curler. I can't talk and look at my eyelashes at the same time. Okie dokie, then I think I'm gonna use a little bit of eyeliner. So I've been using this Maybelline, okay, let's, I hope this works because I really don't know if it's gonna work. Maybelline Precise. How do people do this? You guys, this is so hard to like talk and make sure it's still like in line. And this stuff honestly kind of dries up pretty quickly, but it's not really expensive. It's only like five bucks or so, six bucks. Um, so it's easily replenishable and it's at like any Target or any pharmacy. If my makeup turns out terrible, I'm blaming you guys because I don't know how to do this. This is not, I am not trying to be a, <laughs> I'm not trying to be a beauty blogger. I'm like so minimal when it comes to like makeup. I don't seriously, I really don't enjoy doing this that much. It's nice to get ready, but I don't enjoy sitting here and like, putting makeup on. That's my sister. Um, for me, if I'm not talking to you guys, this probably takes like 10, 10, 15 minutes at most. Cause it's pretty, pretty streamlined. So next I've got Anastasia Brow Wiz in caramel. This one is a little bit thinner than I'm used to. I have the older one where it's like thicker. I think I just bought the wrong one. Um, but this color I like a lot more than that one. This is called, this is in caramel if I didn't mention earlier. And then I just kind of trace my line. It doesn't, it's not super pigmented. So I feel like I can kind of like really go into my brow and then not have it be really dark. I'm not a huge fan of the dark brow. I just need something to give my twins up there a little bit of shape and definition. If you guys have any recommendations of how I should do things better, please feel free to comment below. Got to do a little bit of mascara. So we've got the Maybelline. I am a Maybelline girl all the way. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's always Maybelline. <laughs> I've got the Maybelline Temptation. So I usually just go on with one coat of this and I need to refill pretty soon. And then I either will use this Lash Sensational, also Maybelline, cause I'm a Maybelline girl. And I don't like chunky, chunky lashes. I just like a little bit of definition again. I'm not huge on the heavy makeup, but just enough to make me look like at least I tried, you know? So at least now my eyes kind of look alive. I hope I don't look like a complete monster right now. Oh, there's a puppet behind me. Hey, baby. I typically use Glossier, Glossier, I don't know. Dusk, their cloud paint in the color Dusk. I have also been using uh, Rare Beauty, Selena Gomez's brand. This one in Bliss. I feel like blush, it depends on if I'm gonna like stay home and make content or if I'm going out. Cause if I'm going out, a mask will just take off all the blush. So I typically skip blush. Um, but if I'm at home and I'm just taking pictures or making videos, um, I just put on a little bit of blush just to get rid of some of that like cold weather, nosy redness. Oh, and then I have a little a little hinky dinky at the top. So I'll do that also since I'm taking pictures today. Ta-da! And this is the final product. I'll probably do my hair also. Um, pretty simple. Uh, it doesn't take me that long typically if I'm not talking. It'll only take me about like 10, 15 minutes, but I thought it might be fun to just sit and chat with you because 
it's nice to feel like you have someone to talk to when you're alone for the most part of the day. So I hope you guys are all doing well in quarantine and taking care of your mental health because if you're staying at home as you should, it can be a little lonely sometimes. So know that you're not by yourself. There are plenty of people also feeling lonely and that you can always reach out to your loved ones or your friends via text message. You can always give them a call or FaceTime. Or if you even want to reach out to me, I am here for you. You can reach out to me on Instagram at Patty Cow or I don't know, find me on some other some other social media. You can comment below. I love having friends because I am all alone here in Henderson. Tim's always at work, although season's almost over. So hopefully we'll have a lot more Timmy time. Um, but yeah, I need to get my hair done and then I will probably take some photos. I'm announcing today the uh, giveaway, the giveaway stuff. I get the before, but this is kind of the during. So today is another part of 25 days of wellness is to clean up a part of your personal space. And in this corner over here, I had like stacked a whole bunch of um, packages that I received over like the course of the past month or so from Black Friday. And some of them are gifts, some of them are just clothes that I ended up putting on top of all my other clothes. So I'm really trying to get my bedroom nice and organized before I leave. I got quite a bit of laundry to do so I really wanted to get through this part at least to like get it under control it was a little absurd Ooh, exponentially better I put Chloe's little blanket bed in the corner I have to return this box and I did a little bit of a vacuum so everything looks nice and clean honestly it's her doing this humping situation that she always does at night here it goes, without fail. I think she's nervous about something, but I can't tell what it is. So it gets like fluff all over the floor. Now there's fluff in my eye, but I'm very happy about this right now. So it looks so much cleaner. <laughs> she's watching TV. Are you nervous, baby? Are you nervous? You look stressed. So it's the end of the night and I watched Togo, another dog thing. This is a Disney dog movie. That's like the real story of that sled race that Balto was about. I know I'm not making any sense, but basically it was very emotional and very sweet. And it makes me love Chloe so much. She was enjoying watching the movie so much. She just like sat on the couch with me and was staring at all the other dogs. Um, but I just wanted to close out tonight. Got a long day again tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Bye.